Hello there, I just wanted to post an idea I had that seems to work uh, quite well and saves me a lot of effort. It's to do with the Slim 3 framework. If you haven't heard about the Slim 3 framework or used it yet, I highly recommend it. It's brilliant and it's very well suited to API development. Um, but basically what I wanted to talk about all relates to uh, this sort of thing. So if you create a very small API, you'll just create the app and then you'll put all your requests in. Now this works well on a small level if you only have a small number of requests that you need to handle. But uh, as with all things, it will grow and it will become a messy beast. This is my before, like I'm doing a before and after here, um, of just two controllers that each have a CRUD interface. So create, read, update, delete. Um, as you can see, it's, it's even messy even with just two. I mean, this is manageable. Um, in, a, in a code base I'm working on right now, it's it's all it's this is over a thousand lines, and I've got all kinds of groups for like the internal foo functions that are available to internal services only, and the the public ones, and then I got like version one, version two. So this can become really unmanageable, and adding an endpoint or something can get really messy. I tried to simplify it by using inheritance, so I, I had these controllers that implemented the the CRUD, abstract CRUD controller, and then I had like had, I was able to share code, but that I, I ended up with a ton of exceptions, and it just got yeah, it's terrible. So this this is the original, um, and as you can see, it just I've got uh, it'll be version one, the bar, uh, and then if you just post there, you create a bar, and if you uh, just go there in a web browser or you send a git request, it will list all the bars, bar objects. Um, so for example, I'm using the Postman tool here, and another excellent tool. So as you can see, oh, I haven't launched it yet. So CD desktop slim three. Just I'll post all the code on GitHub in case you want to do this yourself. Um, I always believe it's best if other people can play around. So I'm going to launch the web, the API. Uh, localhost 8080. I'm just doing 8080 because I I think I have an Apache web server running all the time, anyways, on this this computer um, and I need all the requests to go to the index.php file so I'm doing that and now when I send a git request for version 1 bar I will get these bar resources I'm just faking it right now I'm not actually loading from a database or anything but you can imagine like this would be the response and in case you want to see it I'm just going to go to git bar git all and then bar controller uh, yeah, sorry, I've got before and after open here, so I'm just going to, this is the before, and then, yeah, it returns that. Cool, nice and easy. Uh, and then likewise, post, send, yeah, uh, and the key thing is body, if I don't provide knit, if I don't provide name, I'll get a 400 uh, missing required name attribute. So the API works, right, but it's it's a bit messy and hard to maintain. So the the innovation that I came up with, um, I'm sure everyone else has like a better better way. If you have a better way, please comment. Um, I will on the blog post. I will link in the description. But this is my new index.php file. All I'm doing is I'm going to the controllers and I'm saying, hey, register with the Slim app, right? So if you want to add a new controller, you just add a line, uh, and then if you want to add like some method to a controller, you know your resource in an API, then you would just go here and do it, right? Now, this is a lot easier. So now I don't want to mess around with the foo resource. I just go to the foo controller and I plug the endpoint here. It's still not amazing, but at least I know everything in here is to do with foo and I can just delete or add the relevant thing. One thing to note here is uh, when I initially wrote this code, I, I was doing self. Now that will work, but unfortunately when you do that, if you do control B here, it goes nowhere in NetBeans. So I like to program again, not just the language, but against the IDE. So it's worth just doing that. Now when I go to create, I guess go straight there. Another benefit is that you'll notice that everything can be private now because the registration is happening from within the controller class, from within the relevant controller. So all your methods can be private. You don't have to worry about someone doing some janky stuff where they're calling another controller's method from outside the controller. No, if, if you've got shared logic, use a shared library or a model, whatever. 
Um, don't have controllers cooling each other. It <laughs> seems to be crazy. Um, so everything can be private. You expose everything through this public static method. And yeah, everything is great. Oh, and in case you're worried, like I was, that you know I've got a group here called V1. And then, okay, so we're in after. I haven't, I haven't created the folders yet because this is just a very basic code base, like model view controller. But um, so I'm in foo. Here is bar. Even though these groups overlap uh, on v1, v1, it works perfectly fine. In fact, I will now demonstrate this. Uh, control C, yep. Uh, da, 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 da. P .d cd after php dash s localhost 8080. Nope, sorry. Need to make sure everything goes to index.php. Cool. So now I will test this by going to Postman. All right, localhost v1 bar. I will send, same, yep. If I post the name, yep. Um, get, yep. Uh, patch. Uh, do, 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 do. Well, yeah, you get the gist. You can play around. Um, uh, yeah, I, there's, there's some other tutorials I need to do on like last slash and things like that, but it works. If you find any flaws, post an issue on GitHub, but uh, I believe this is a much better way of handling uh, the routing in Slim. But yeah, uh, I'll catch you later.